Good evening and welcome back. Hopefully you did watch the last video. If you haven't, please go back and watch it. You can see on the bottom left there, 10 goals, 10 nil. Xerxes getting six goals. I think he got two assists as well. He got a 9.0 rating. But we'll wait till last Palmas today and then we've got two home matches and that'll be the end of the season. Can't believe we're finally getting there. It's been a, a brilliant season so far. But I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into Division 1. What transfers can we make in the summer to strengthen our squad? What youth team players are going to be available? All of that stuff. But let's concentrate on the next three games. Get those out of the way. Let's hope there's plenty more goals and drama. Get another nine points, hopefully. And quite a few changes. Some tired legs out there. We are going to bring in Post in goal. Just because Schubert needs a bit of a rest. He's on a bit of a downward form, as is Post. We might as well rest him while both are not in great condition. Kovacevic is coming in for Kosony, who's on a downward red and needed a rest anyway. We were going to rest him. Hetich has been brought in for Herrera. Harriton's going to drop in the centre in attack midfield role, as is Bajer. Carlos Perez is going to be out wide right as normal. We're actually going to bring Carlson on the left and push Arkas up top. Xerxes had such a magnificent game in the last one, but he is um, needing a little bit of a rest. And we have got another game in a few days, I believe, so get some tired bodies a bit of a rest after that magnificent 10-0 win and we're at the Estadio Gran Canaria beautiful stadium by the looks of it I must have played here before in the game but don't recognize it looks stunning but is there going to be a bit of a Sort of come down after that 10 0 win, we have changed the lineup a lot, so that can potentially have a negative or positive effect. You know, these players that are coming in know they've uh, got some work to do to, to keep the place after the you know some of the players that have been rested have been involved in that 10 0 win. Most likely, Carson's last appearance for the club, he is leaving in the summer. There's only a couple more matches after this. I doubt he's going to play in them, even as a sub. And the last match was just one where everything went right. We played well, but every little bit of luck, everything we tried, just it just came off. It was just one of those weird games. Carlos Perez! Oh, wide. The last match that would have went in, it was just... I couldn't do anything wrong. It was it was odd. <laughs> Great. But um even little things like I mean we were well ahead at the time, I think it was about six or seven nil up and Mudrick had a shot, it deflected and went in. That never happens really in this game. Any sort of blocks stop it from going in the net ninety nine percent of the time. I mean, we weren't lucky. It's not like we were significantly lucky. It's just all the sort of little 50-50 things just happened to go our way. What a save that was. Posting goal. I did try and bring him over. I mentioned it in the last video when, well, we faced free kicks before, especially in that final. That gives me a bad flashbacks but tried holding triangle just before the shot's taken and it's supposed to move the keeper over towards the, the side of the wall is and I did at that time and he did seem to move a tiny bit but it's not much but um, in the final and at other times I've tried it it, it doesn't seem to do anything so I, I don't know if it's a bit glitched out or if I'm doing something wrong but I don't think I am I've used it in previous games exactly the same it's worked nearly in there so I think by this time last time this time last time <laughs> in the last match around about this time we were potentially 4-0 up I think I think Zuzzi had 4 goals by this point it was uh, absolutely insane could be 1-0 down here and we are brought the keeper out but there's not much he can do from there Bad defending, and it was really that that two pushing up to one defender, uh, one attacker did not need to do that. A bit of a mix up, probably Kavazovic's fault. Yeah, 
that was Omar Ajax's man. Kovacevic shouldn't have been out of place there. I think it was Kovacevic. Must have been. So we've lost our clean sheet, which is a shame for the second choice goalkeeper. It wasn't his fault. Good tackle from Hedge there. Again, he's leaving in the summer as well. A few names leaving. Not Arcos though. He's going to be here for a long time, I think. He's going to be one of the only original lineup left. Here's course Perez. Back to Arcos. Perez. And it's 1-1. Lovely play. And Arcos is such a versatile player. He's playing up top today. His best position really is either a tack midfielder or a second striker. Certainly not a main centre forward or out wide where he used to play. That's not his ideal position, but he does a job anywhere. He's very young. He's improving a lot. Like I say, he was he was there from the original lineup before our first game. He was there, and after the summer, after the other players have left, the likes of Hetch, Rice, Carlson, he's going to be the only one of the original. Unless you count the likes of Texher and Bjer who were in the youth squad. Now we did bring them up. They were here from the start in the youth squad and then we brought them up. So they're probably the other ones that you would consider that. But Arcas is the, the only one. And Bjer has been a, an absolute bargain of a find from the youth squad. He's not quite sort of starting 11 material all of the time he's mainly used as a sub and in rotation when we need rest but when you've got the likes of Carlos Perez it's very hard to dispose of uh, Perez because that's, that's his main position that's a poor ball get a little bit lucky here's Bouger ah, decent strike but straight to the keeper Here's Carlos Perez again. Arcas. Ah, couldn't quite find Arcas there. We should get a throw. There we go. It's a foul. Dangerous position here. Don't know if I've really got anyone that... I mean, it's potentially only our class, really. Oh, good save. It was a little bit straight. I did try and curl it, but got it over the wall, which I tend not to do normally. Bit of a, an acrobatic save there for the cameras. Yeah, again, we're going to try something slightly... Well, not slightly different to what we've been doing recently. No, it didn't work that time. Here's Texera from distance. Ooh. Decent effort. I think it was a good few feet wide. It wasn't that close. Decent strike though. Maybe not 100% cleanly hit. Oh, lovely ball to Harrington. Straight at the keeper. Decent effort, but maybe expect to be a little bit better from there. Here's Bajer. Perez. Wonderful goal. And they've got great chemistry. Whether Bajer and Perez seem to be playing on the pitch, if they're on the same lineup, they always seem to find each other. And considering they're rivals for the same spot, it's quite a surprise. But normally it's either Perez when he's been playing on the right and then he switches to play up top if we take Xerxes off like around about the 60 minute mark and bring on Bouger they all seem to link up or whether it's in like in this case where they're starting together which is quite rare that they, they actually start together 
Great goal though. And we're back in front now. I say back in front, we'll have that's the first time we've been in front. Yeah. Bit of a shock that we let in in the goal, and it was just a real bad defensive mix up. Nothing the keeper could do. And we're four away back in the match. And it's two and a half time. Carlos Perez were on the double. 55% possession, most of the shots. But they did look a bit dangerous on the counter-attack. Not just the goal, but they do look like they can hit us there. So we've got to be careful. Arcus and Bajer, if I can get my words out, with the assists. Haven't seen Harrington too much. Again, he's... I mean, that's actually his preferred position, technically. But uh, when he's been playing for us, he's normally been playing out wide left to cut, on, cut in on his right foot. Can't get my words out today. I'm not sure what's going on. But uh, his preferred position is supposed to be attacking the field of all. Oh, nice ball. Bajer, what a finish. That was a strun... A strunning volley? I'm going to stop speaking in a moment. But yeah, Harrington, nice work. Plays it out wide to the left. Lovely little layup. One touch and bam. And I've said it before, but that little using the R1 to sort of dash just before you're about to get the ball often does flick the ball up a little bit. And you can then volley it in or half volley it. Doesn't always work. It can often skew the shot, but when it does, it's normally got good power. Seems to catch the keeper off guard. Certainly want to try if you are playing pairs and want any tips about scoring goals. Just takes a bit of practice and it becomes second nature. Oh, lovely ball to Harrington. A <laughs> lovely tap in from Arcas. Nice ball. Cut a shot. I'm going to be honest, I didn't mean to play it that close to the goal, that pass. I meant to play it almost horizontal, parallel, across the goal to Arcas. But it ended up playing it ahead. Worked out well, though. Beautiful pass. I think it was slightly unintended for myself. And the easiest of tap ins for Arcas. He's had a good game. Looking a little bit more comfortable now. It's more like it. Maybe that goal that we let in was just the, the kick that we needed to focus a little bit more. You know, after winning 10 0, it's probably easy to think that you're going to do it again and get a bit complacent. Good interception there. Nice play. Oh, and a really nice ball to Carlson. And here's Harrington. Oh, just wide. That would have been a beautiful goal. We are going to make some subs in a moment. Really nice play from Carlson. Nice pass. Maybe took it a little bit too wide. We are going to bring on Castledean for Carlos Perez just to rest his legs. And we're going to bring on Rice for Harrington again just to rest the legs. Might be the last time some of these players will play. And it's nice for them to get a bit of a run out. I don't think it'll be Rice's last involvement completely. I think it probably will be Carlson's today. So we're going to give them the full 90 minutes. But the likes of Hetch and Rice may play again. Not sure. Nice little flick there. And a nice pass back from Carlson. Good save there. That ball was behind the keeper. I think he was going in the wrong direction. And that was a, a decent save, actually. But like I say, a nice pass from Carlson. Good touch. Nice strike. Well, it's probably, it's probably poor... <laughs> Poor keeper mixed with actually a good reflex in the end. Oh, 
That was a better corner. Just couldn't quite get my head on it. Nice play from Kovacevic. I think he was at fault for the first goal. But, um, you know, he's young. He's going to make mistakes. He's only a 60 rated, I believe. He was from the Eve squad as well. And he was really... We had to sign him um, at the time. And we eventually got Omar Rajek, but we still need him. He does play the odd game. He's definitely our third choice centre back, but uh, he does get some decent game time. I would think we will be looking to sign another central defender who is a higher quality that can maybe push or even better what we've currently got in uh, the two having Omaragic and Kosnu. I think Kosnu is certainly our leading centre back. He's a powerhouse. Here's her edge. Wow, that's ambitious. I was really thinking of getting a, a you know really good left back and right back, but I don't know with McDowell coming in, he's performed really well, like performed above what his stats are. Tech Sharer, who like I say was in the youth squad from the start, um, and we brought him through pretty much straight away. He. Again, is is certainly not world class or anything like that at the moment, but he's a good young left back. He's pretty solid and dependable, and he will just keep improving. Now, if there's any bargains that come up, for sure we'll go for some wing backs. We we'll, uh, we need cover. Um, that's that's a definite. We've got really no cover out there. Nice ball out wide to Carson. He's had a decent game. He's been involved. Ooh, nearly gets fouled. Manages to keep it. Take share of half decent ball. Gets it back again. That was poor. We have got a, a central defender coming in as well, so that's going to bolster up our, our midfield, which we need because the likes of Rice and Hedge, who are bit part players, but we need them to rotate the squad, they're going. So, even if we were keeping them, um, the player we've brought in is by far better. You know, he's improving the squad, he's improving the starting 11. Here's Castledean. Carson, oh, that was his chance. Oh, that would have been a lovely sign-off. I've got to be honest, I've forgotten the uh, the centre midfielder that I bought, but he's he's mainly a more of an attacking centre midfielder rather than, let's say, a, a defensive breaking up the play guy. So I think Herrera's probably going to drop to that defensive midfielder role. We will be looking for an outright defensive midfielder at some point, but it's not a number one priority. We're pretty much set in the wide positions, although, again, cover wouldn't do any harm. What a save there from post. We were originally thinking about getting a decent second-choice keeper in, but we've got post, who's a, a, you know, a youngster. Again, his stats are pretty poor at the moment. Um, but Schubert has been a magnificent find as our number one. And he'll be staying around as long as possible probably need a second choice out and out centre forward now again we're not going to get all of these good block there another cost a little bit for the last 5 or 10 minutes but these are just ideas definitely want to get a centre back defensive midfielder wing backs yes potentially Second choice striker, or one that could be even better than Xerxes, although I'm not sure the form he's in 
if that's going to be possible. Ah, uh, Alcas just stopped running. He's got some tired legs. That should be full time. And there it is. Got there in the end. Carlos Perez on the double. I would be surprised if he didn't get man of the match. 60% possession in the end. And of course, Carlos Perez got man of the match. Arcas, I agree. He had a really good game. Carson, I think he actually deserved better than a six. But all round, very, very good performances. Uh, Rice getting a 4.5 when he came on. But it was kind of sewn up by then. And we did suffer in the last 10 or 15 minutes. We didn't really get a hold of the ball too much. And just looking at the stats for May now, we've only got a couple of matches left. Xerxes getting seven goals in that month, but bear in mind that six of those came in the match against Malaga. So in the other matches, he only got one goal. We did rotate in a few of those games as well, especially ahead of the final and afterwards. Mudrik, second place. I'm a, I'm a little bit surprised, actually, uh, but he's been performing well again. Assist-wise, the youngsters, Harrington and Majer getting in on the act. And look at the average rating. Well, yes, Xerxes got a 9 in that match, so that's, that would have bolstered that up a little bit. But 7.8 overall for the month is absolutely brilliant. Mudrick is 7.2. Like I say, he had a little bit of a dip. We signed him in January, and he just, he just blew everyone away for the first couple of months. Then he had a little bit of a dip. He wasn't terrible. He just wasn't seemed to be involved as much. And then he's picked right back up again. So he's probably leveled out a bit in a good way. And Harrington again, he's third of uh, our third best player for the month. That's really, really good going considering he's not a regular starter for certain. Um, he did get a little bit more game time in this month though. And what we will do with us having two matches left, once we've played those, we will have a look at the full season stats. We'll have a look at goals, assists, all of that sort of stuff and a little bit more further detail next season. See who we're going to sign, see if we can improve not only the starting 11, but bolster out the squad a little bit. But hit that like button if you did enjoy. Drop a comment down below. Think about subscribing just so you can keep up to date with the channel. But really do appreciate you joining and I'll see you next time. Cheers.